a mother in America went the extra mile for her daughter when she was struggling to conceive by offering to be her surrogate. She was 53 years old when she gave birth to her grandchild, a baby girl, in October. So would you do the same for a loved one? A huge thing to ask of anyone, but if it's maybe your sister or a very, very close friend, perhaps, would you consider it, Frankie? Um, I was actually closely in this situation with my sister. So she's been struggling to conceive. She now has um, twin boys, actually. So it's all worked out really well in the end. Um, but we did have this point where I was like, would you ask me to be a surrogate? Because I just don't know how I feel about it. And she actually said to me, no, I don't think I'd feel comfortable. We're so close. I'd rather ask you know, like an outside person. Um, and it's one of those things I find hard because I'm not a very good pregnant person anyway, but also I feel like I would be emotionally attached to that baby. I feel like I would find it really hard to carry a baby and then just to hand them over and then not really, yes, they would be my niece or nephew, but not really have anything to do with them after that. I'm not sure mentally how I would deal with that. Mm. I mean, there are a lot of, various things to consider isn't there I mean it's this huge thing as much as we would all like to be able to help someone it's a big ask yeah it's complex isn't it I mean I don't have any siblings but I know you know a lot of my friends who are siblings they do tend to argue quite a bit anyway um so it'd be sort of like another complex layer to the relationship but <laughs> if it was one of my daughters I absolutely would um mm. be a surrogate because, you know, I'm going to be interfering anyway. Yeah, exactly. You know, when they have a baby. So I might as well just go, well, here you go. And, um, I, yeah, so I, I totally would for a daughter. I don't know if it was a friend that asked me or something. I, I don't know. It's, it's a tricky one. I'd have to give it really deep thought because mm -hmm. if you did fall out... I mean, obviously, it's not your baby. You've just sort of cooked it, haven't you? Um, but it's a big emotional thing to carry a baby for nine months. Yeah. You say about the friend, I, I did actually offer... that I had a friend who was, um, you know, she was having a, bit, a few problems there, uh, conceiving, and I offered, and I said I would if I could. At that time, when we were having the conversation, I was a bit older, so, um, you know, it, the, there wasn't... Uh, there weren't any eggs, I'd, but uh, um, I'd already started my menopause but, and, and everything um, and the complications. Uh, so, but I offered it and we was just sat there crying because she was like, oh, would you have done that for me? And I just think it's nice to, you know, because obviously a child is a gift and, and I think it's nice and precious. With Jamal and Tanisha, if it was either of them and Jamal's partner or Tanisha, I would have no doubt whatsoever mm. that I would... If I could, I would. Yeah. Absolutely. What about you, Christine? I think I probably, certainly for my sister, if she desperately, desperately wanted a child and couldn't for whatever reason, and I thought that I could, I think I probably would, yeah. And it's a bit like, it's a bit like you said, I would feel like that child, it's not a friend's baby, it's my sister's baby, and yeah. therefore it is part of my DNA. It's part of me, and I would always love this little thing regardless anyway. So if I were able to help give her that, yeah. I think I could happily carry it, hand it over, love it like I would love yeah. my niece or nephew anyway. But the other anyway. thing to think about is the partner mm. as well, yeah. isn't well, it? I, I mean, exactly, it's not just you. Yeah. yeah, Frankie, how would Wayne feel yeah. if you had... I think Wayne would probably be up for it. I know what he's like and he knows how close my sister and I are. I don't think he'd find that strange. But I think now hearing you guys talk about it, if my sister outwardly had asked me, would my reaction have been different? You know, we were having a discussion of a bit of a maybe. Mm. So it was kind of, you don't have to do it. It's not essential. Whereas I think if she turned around to me and said, look, you are my absolute last chance of me to have a family and me sitting there with my two kids, could I realistically say no? Probably not. But I still think emotionally, although technically it's not any of my eggs, none of Wayne's bits and pieces, I think I would still always look at that child slightly as mine. I think I'd find it really hard to give birth to something and not to keep it. But for the love of my sister, maybe maybe I would have if yeah. she'd actually asked me. Mm. It's just interesting whether I think I think we, because as as the carriers, can can potentially compartmentalise it all. Whereas maybe for the partner, it isn't always that easy because suddenly you're pregnant no. with someone else's child yeah. for them it's always it's it's a tricky situation isn't it yeah. but certainly if you were to, to be able to do it for for a sister i think it's a it's an incredible gift Absolutely. that's for sure yeah.